start streaming. Stream has begun. Gonna double check that it's live. We're getting good at this process. Stream has begun. Mm -hmm. It is live. You, I muted it. Are you doing public or are you doing just the. I went public this time. All right, cool. I think your wisdom is correct. You, I mean, you said this way back when, is that people don't support us to get X. You feel like you want the patronage to go up, and if there's stuff behind a paywall, that would. But, like, people don't support us to get the bonus content. They support us because they support us. <laughs> like, they actually genuinely support us. Emotionally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, so there's just... Putting a, a lot number. behind the paywall just doesn't seem... I think there's a certain number of people that just support us, and yeah. then we try to get our content out to more people, and that increases that number. Yeah. That makes sense. Um, there will always be people who won't, but... Uh, Tweet is up. Patreon post is up. Can you post in the Discord? Mm-hmm. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Good evening, says Genuine Entropy. So they must be in a different time zone. Oh. Well, it's kind of... It's afternoon. Get, this is also... I did take a huge risk, and I made the YouTube thing public. So our YouTube subscribers will also get hanged. This will probably be the most people we've had on this stream. What? Uh... Don't get nervous, boyo can't talk about all the things I normally do because I'm crazy. Uh, I am crazy. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm a big talker. I'm a big talker. You see the sketch pitches? Oh, of course you did. You emailed I did. I responded. Is that going to be enough? Do you need more for this section? What? This? Huh? What? Nope. Need what, what now? Oh, you mean for... More? Okay, so people, if you're listening and wondering what we're talking about, um, Small Beans is working on producing a fully, you know, produce like an audio show, like a radio show would be um, sketch series. That's our, something on our horizon. Podcast, audio, sketch series. That's what we're talking about. No, there's plenty, I think. We're just trying to fill 22 minutes, don't you think? Like, even yeah. if Christian, Noah, and Greg are all too busy, there's still enough. Okay, so it's just me and you again. It might just be me and you again. I mean, we're constantly right. trying to get other people. Everyone yeah. always is like thinks they're such a genius when they write to our Patreon and go, just make after hours. And it's like, we tried. We tried. It's hard to wrangle a bunch of people together without money as an incentive. <laughs> yeah. Or at least, you know, like yeah. fair wage. But, you know, the right, exactly. better wages elsewhere because they're all talented. Um, yeah, I'll generate, I'll try to generate shit. some more yeah. after I do the anthology pitches. Yeah. And prioritize that. Man, and we obviously. got some cool shit going on. I'm excited for us. <laughs> yeah. We got three major projects in addition to our normal projects. Yeah. Uh, uh and not the counting video the edit. screenplay even. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah. So that's major project. Anthology, new video. Yep. Screenplay, new. Um, our art director, uh, yeah. Audio. So Small Beans is working on a graphic novel, um, but our art director has made it clear that that's like probably a fourteen-month process. So it's not like people should get excited yet. <laughs> well, we'll probably send stuff to the Patreons every now and then just to update. You know. Yeah, questions. but like that artist he just got attached today, who is great and I would want to use him, he was like, good news, this guy said it'll only take him seven months to do five pages. And I was like, dang, it is a slow process to draw beautiful mm -hmm. artwork. <laughs> but we'll get a bunch of artists and, yeah. and All right. it. we'll do it. Let's do this thing. Okay. So, okay. yeah, everyone, we're writing an action screenplay. We're actually closing in on it. This is the first time we made it public to our YouTube channel, but this is actually the 11th time we've met to do this. Mm -hmm. um, so if you feel like you missed out, patronize us at patreon.com slash Um Yeah. So where should we start? 80... 81? One? Okay. People who have been following along, 
if you were on last stream or even if you weren't, Abe and I decided to split up and rewrite some scenes because as we've gotten towards the end of the film, we made so many improvements throughout the process that we were like, well, I want to change every line in this scene. So we just split them up and rewrote them. So now we're going over material that you've already seen, but it's been rewritten. Mm. <laughs> you want to give to the newbies at least the log line? Why don't you do it while I finish my pretzel final bit? <clears throat> yeah. So in a Southern American rural town uh in the wake of a uh during a hurricane um people in a small town are relocated to like an astrodome type thing like a college uh foot athletic center uh something that has like a football field and unbeknownst to them a whole group of essentially terrorists and thugs come in and uh, try to hold them hostage in order to the uh, in order well there it's a double in order to what it's it's set up as to uh, kind of punish the government for its lack of ability to uh, help in like FEMA uh, uh, disaster instances um, and trying to make a political statement uh, is that a good one? and there's one guy Kyle Andaman, who's our main protagonist, who fucks their shit up. <coughs> yeah, they pretend to be FEMA. And yeah. the joke is they're more efficient than FEMA, so they get to the shelter way earlier, so they're able to pretend to be FEMA and take everyone hostage. Mm -hmm. And then it's mm -hmm. Die Hard, you know, Hurricane. And then it's Die Hard. Which is, I guess, Hurricane Heist, but every detail of ours is different, and Hurricane Heist was very bad, so I don't foresee a problem. Yeah. Um, all right. Who should read? Well, I guess who just whoever just rewrote it. So I'll read eighty one. You'll read eighty one. Uh, eighty one interior tunnel day. A FEMA thug rips Tobias' reflective blanket from his hands. Ops manager approaches him. Ops manager, you're friends with her, right? The nurse, your little volunteer, Tobias. I guess so. Ops manager, did you help her plan that shenanigan? Whatever that was just now. Tobias looks him in the eyes and nods firmly. Any issues? No, I think that Nor we I. may be further than we are. Eighty-one. Yeah. Um, so our process, right at the moment, people listening for the first time. Sorry, I'm going to do it a little more, but it'll taper off. We usually don't address the feed at all. Um, someone will read it, the scene. We decide semi-arbitrarily, and uh, we both have open the floor for basically feedback. And if everything's fine, we just move on. Usually there's feedback, but because we already just polished these and we're going over them again, it might just be like a checking and confirming process for a bit. Mm. 82, interior main concession stand, day. Kyle squirms in pain as Marlene untightens the belt on his leg, looks at it, and retightens it. Kyle, ah, fuck, fuck, I'm done, I'm done. Marlene, no you're not. Kyle, no, it's over, Marlene. It's not over. We're still alive. We're going to make it. Kyle. No, I mean, I'm going to die. I'm going to turn myself in, and he'll kill me. And that's fine, but I, I don't even know if it'll help. Marlene. The people in there are ready to fight back, and they wouldn't be without you, what you've done. Kyle. Fucking psychopath. Marlene. Can you put pressure on this? Kyle presses on his leg wound and grimaces. Kyle. Why did you come? You're the doctor. You should be by the people, not here. Why did you, Marlene? I'm needed here. Plus, I'm the only one who could decode your message. Comcess? What the fuck was that? Kyle. Hey, I'm doing my best. You showed up, didn't you? Mission of Comcess. Marlene laughs. Marlene. Shit, it's so surreal to be with you and just, like, telling jokes. Kyle. Almost normal. Marlene. It's nice. Kyle's smile falls. As the reality of his situation returns to him, he lowers his gaze in shame. Kyle, so you're going to die, Marlene. Mar. You like Marl, right? I think for consistency it should be Marl. Yeah, I like Marl. So you're going to die, Marl? He's going to find you out, and it'll be just like I killed you, Marlene. I'm not fucking with that right now. You have wounds. Just focus on your breath. I got a short pitch, very small. Uh-huh. But it... Uh, after Marlene laughs, uh, Marlene's line, shit, it's so surreal to be just, mm -hmm. 
like t- telling jokes. <clears throat> I like the telling jokes beat as a whole. I think the line should be tinkered. Um, cause I think how someone would react, like talking, like, she would laugh yeah. and then she would go something like really jokes right now. Mm-hmm. And then I kind of like the role that you have where Kyle then smiles almost normal. And then Marlene says, it's nice. I think that. What about just any of these joking? Mm-hmm. Like to me, that's nice and subtle. If you're watching the stream, it's typing now. Mm-hmm. Like that's that's the smallest line I can think of where you could still connect all the dots. You know what she means, you know? Yeah. Do you need? Do we even need the yet? And he's joking. I. I mean, I think that's how the actor reads it. But I. I like. You know, the unspoken part. part is, and with all this shit going on, he's joking. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That's fine. That work. I don't need I, the yet. Yeah, I think it's it's so out of place that be like in the right way. Uh, that people will be it, like, yeah, right. I am surprised the screen. Right. I the feeling is supposed to be uh, like, I'm surprised they put a laugh line in this in this scene. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Let's it's, move on. You can we can pause for you to describe your uh, favorite quote if you want. No. <laughs> okay. no I'm, I'm leading that out <laughs> because you're calling attention. To it. It's true but, right now. But, no, but it is. You mention it a lot because it's constantly very. It's constantly, yeah. yeah, like a thing that's in my life. And I always forget who it is. It's not Ambrose Pierce. Who is it? It's George Bernard, Bernard Shaw. Shaw. And I'll right. say it for stream. But <laughs> life does not cease to be funny when it is tragic, just as it doesn't cease to be tragic when it's funny. And we like to do that in our screenplays a lot. Uh, and we like movies that do that a lot because it's like the double edged sword of life. Sometimes things are funny. Yeah. And tragedies and vice versa doesn't change it when you laugh and a normal ha, ha, laughy ha. situation go remember the kids who are dying right now right you, now you asshole uh k fits in the stream says last time i wrote a script it was a parody movie action seems much harder to write tone i just i don't usually quote people in the stream while we're doing it but i do think that's insightful in the sense that yeah, it yeah. really is the hardest aspect of this for us because we were requested to write a script in this genre so with some of the details were like given mm-hmm. to us. Um, it's hard to write action movie that takes itself seriously when you're training as a comedian. Like you want to just exaggerate everything to a ridiculous yeah. degree, but you don't. All right, eighty three. Uh, one thing, because Gex mentions, which I also mm-hmm. thought was insightful, only because when he when he wrote it and I read it in chat, I read it in a different way, and then mm-hmm. I realized, like, oh, if Kyle says almost normal, and if that's all we get it, I like the idea that it's abbreviated, but I think we abbreviated his sentiment there a little too much. Mm. Kind of like what we did with Marlene. I mean, I don't know. Do you disagree? Like, because I think now it definitely reads, like, that's a lame joke, and he's joking. I almost feel like it's almost normal or something. Now. They're also like, speaking their subtext. Here's my pitch. Watch the yeah. screen. Boom. Go fuck yourself. Mm. Lines. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh... Yeah, so that, that that means back to back across the page as he smiles and then it falls. Yep. Yeah. To make it a like a breakout shot rather than you know one. Yeah, and to make it uh, visually pair with Marlene laughs. Right. Then the director can do it. Because if want. you're laughing and smiling, would... you don't have to say this yeah. is nice. <laughs> That's we're, we're, we're I directing this uh, scene. I make a meal out of this moment and just hold. Um, all right, I, cool. Okay, ID dial. Uh, 83 interior tunnel day. FEMA 2, all of our thugs are called FEMA numbers. FEMA 2 holds Tobias by the neck and drags him forward as ops manager walks through the parting crowd to address them. FEMA 4 hands ops manager a walkie that's been passed into the stadium intercom. Ops manager. Hello? Hello. Does this work? The sound swells throughout the stadium. In the empty field, it sounds bizarre and diffuse. Ops manager continued. Oh, okay. Everyone, please settle down. I know it's cold. You'll get your blankets back in a minute. But you just fucked with me. So now we have to talk. I have your town. 
How is this not clear? He ushers Seema Fort toward Hector, who was saved by Kyle at the beginning of the film. Hector screams. Ops manager continues. I have, I don't know, like 80 people here? I don't really need. And to be honest, I was hoping to be out of here an hour ago, and now we're all fucking freezing. So, Kyle, I hope you're listening, Kyle. The operations manager takes a moment to exhale, then looks to the townsfolk who leer with terror. Ops manager continued. Let's start with you two. Who are you? What's your name? FEMA 2 pushes Tobias forward toward ops manager. Ops manager holds the walkie to his mouth. Tobias, I am Tobias Smith. Anything? Uh, no. Does it bug you that there's an across the page that references the film itself? I mean, I noticed it, but oh, I, 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 it, as I'm reading more and more screenplays that are not like comedies and are trying to like dancing around genuine moments where like people just want to be clear. Um, the that traditional my thing screenplay is, is out of vogue because you can shorten things. And I could not think of any shorter, clearer way than to make the reader go, yeah, that kid, I know who you mean, you know? Right. It's just so efficient. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Good then. 84. <clears throat> Smoke mm -hmm. weed every day. 84. Interior. Main concession stand. Simultaneous. Marlene inspects Kyle's bad hand, replacing a blood-soaked bandage. Kyle, hearing Tobias' voice, slams his hand on the counter, and it starts to bleed freely again. Marlene, God damn it, don't do that! Yeah. Good? All right. 85. Interior. Tunnel. Simultaneous. The operations manager removes the walkie from Tobias' mouth. Ops manager. Tobias, you are going to help me make a point. Ops manager pulls... It should probably be a gun, right? Or his gun. Mm -hmm. Ops manager pulls his gun from his belt. Mm, pulls the gun from his belt. I don't like the his good. All right. Continuing. Ops manager pulls the gun from his belt and sets it gently to Tobias's temple. The crowd shrieks. Ops manager makes the shh gesture with his other hand. Sorry, I'm being anal. It is the polish path. Mm -hmm. Ops manager continued. Now, now, quiet down. Kyle can't hear us. Whole thing's a waste. Wouldn't want Tobias here to suffer in vain, would we? Crowd settles into a tense murmur. Ops manager continued. So what do you think, Tobias? Where am I going with this? Tobias, your ops manager. Take your time. Tobias, you're probably going to murder me. Ops manager. Whoa! Whoa! Toby! Thought we were friends. Well, you said it, not me. Hector is brought to the front of the crowd, and a thug shoves him forward. Sandra screams again. Other guards subdue her. Ops manager walks to Hector, pauses, gets a good look at him. He's so scared. Most in the crowd either look away or weep. FEMA 2 pushes Hector toward ops manager, who holds the walkie. Ops manager looks Hector up and down. Ops manager. What's your name? Hector. Hector. Sandra shrieks from the front of the crowd, surrounded by guards. FEMA 16 keeps her at gunpoint and facing ops. Sandra. No, 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 no. Del, you son of a bitch. FEMA 16 aims his gun at Del, who approaches Sandra. He hugs her close. Is this where I, this is where I took over, right? Yeah, but I want to scan ahead. I thought there was a thing where Del, there it is. Okay, I wanted to make sure we didn't lose the moment where Del's cowardice still shines through. It's coming later. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. he's trying to hug Sandra because it's the least you could fucking do, but then a guard gets too close, and he's like, okay, okay, sorry, sorry. Uh, is, I think this is where I took over, or I can't remember if 86, maybe it was 87. Uh, yeah, go for it. You want to start yeah. reading? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> 86 means concession stand. Kyle and Marlene, hearing Hector's voice over the intercom, stopped dead in their tracks. Marlene, he wouldn't. Kyle, he would. He's a fuckhead. Did we have it as fuckhead? I believe I ch changed that you just had he would. I added he's yeah. a fuckhead. Do you not like it? I don't know. Fuckhead's a weird thing to call that. Because he's a demonstrable, like, predator type. He's an animal. He's a predator. He's a he's a cancer. He's a he's a murderer. 
I mean, we we just used that word with right. heavy impact for right. Tobias. So. Uh, he's a. Uh... I can just ha say joke rejected. We can just delete it if you want, but. Yeah, I just I want to make sure that people are in the right mind for what's about to happen, which is sure. pretty. This is it's per, this is as dark as we. Well, get. it's funny that people just cutting in are like this movie's pretty ridiculously this is dark. extreme. Yeah. This well, is it dark also I mean it's soul. dark, but it also if you just jump into a movie and see the darkest point, it can even seem silly, probably. But yeah. we built it. Things ramped to this point, asshole. I'm assuming they don't like it. Uh, just, so, so are you good with just moving on? I though? think he wouldn't. He would. It's good. Okay. It's okay. kind of, yeah, it's kind of like typical. Well, and it helps with, because the quintessence of what we're trying to get across in the concession stand is she's holding out hope and he doesn't. So that's a nice one, too, of that clarity. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Mm. 87. 87. <clears throat> Tunnel. Ops manager. Hector, I'm about to do something that's very violent and bad. After I do it, you're going to want to speak into this walkie-talkie and describe what's happening, okay? Hector shakes his hand. Head, sobbing, receiving the walkie-talkie. Ops manager nods his head and uses the pistol to scratch his cheek. Hector flinches when the gun raises up. Ops manager shuffles even closer to Hector. Ops manager, you do this, boy, or I'm going to kill your mother next. Hector nods his head, sobbing. Look away, Hector. Just look at your mama. Hector looks to Sandra, ops manager. You look at him, Hector. You do not look away. Hector's gaze whips back to ops, then slowly back to Tobias. Ops manager smiles and fires a single round into Tobias's chest. This crowd screams. Cool. Uh, I don't have any notes. I polished across the page as you read. All I did was change this language yeah, from yeah. gerunds to, uh, you know, active predicates, basically. And I capitalized flinches cause to keep it consistent with the way I read across the pages. Right, but I, right. I, I have Next oh, words. and you while you were reading, Tobias, mm -hmm. you you originally wrote just look to your mama, but you said just look at your mama, and I changed it to at because it did sound more natural. So it's not yeah yeah. Cool. Sometimes I do that. That's everything I, I touched. Yeah. Cool. If the, I don't yeah. have anything, if that's all fine by you. Uh, I don't know if I have anything. No, I didn't have anything. Okay, cool. Eighty-eight. Eighty-eight. Real short. Main concession stand. Simultaneous. Kyle and Marlene pause in shock for a moment with the gun when the as the gunshot rings out. Marlene begins to work with even more urgency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ba -ba -da -da -da. 89. Ba -ba -da -da. Oh, do you kind have of a thought? Like, yeah, I kind of feel like there <laughs> needs to be one more. Ba -ba -da -da -da. Killing people. Um, I kind of want uh marlene and i want kyle and marlene to like they kiss. pause in shock you've been and then pushing this since day over. one you want them to kiss right no no, no i'm just uh, trying I to make you look bad on the stream yeah okay uh i want <laughs> yeah, gotta kiss, perfect dude. moment to kiss he's like, got a like winner poon dude he wins yeah. it it's like a prize bro the crowd's screaming <laughs> Walkie talkie and Kyle and Marilyn just start smooching. They can't they can't hold it in, dude. It's like yeah, Frasier yeah. in a bikini model who would never be with a dude like Frasier. Marlene <laughs> just looks to Kyle with tears in her eyes. Let's get out of here. Yeah. And he, he also with tears in his eyes goes, cool no. as fuck. No. Oh no. Yeah, you just goes, go. No. No. Stay here. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, what's your actual anyway. thought? Is um, that that's not enough material? My actual material? thought is I want to give one more. Uh, mm. I want to give some sentence or. Uh, well, that's of like what is that happening? They know it's Tobias being killed. Yeah, are we already to this point where they like? All right, we know this is happening. I mean, it, that's he wouldn't. He would. And then it happens. 
and then it happens. <laughs> it's like, just, it seems like... I it told seems... you! I told you, bitch! I told you to do <laughs> it! You owe me a it coke. It's cold that Marlene <laughs> begins to work with even more urgency so quickly. Well, it's because... Or that felt wrong. Like, I'm not even talking about actual time, because I know... But it's like, the longer they take, the more people he'll kill. So, I don't know, it makes sense to me. It's like the thing you like about Solaris... Is that like she's totally right. professional? She's like, oh, I should go as fast as possible. That will minimize the number of deaths, you know. Right. It's atypical in a screenplay like that. That's Marlene's true. Definitely. And we, we haven't hit that. I mean, we have. She's this business. movie is not Solaris. That's a decent rebuttal. I buy that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So maybe she but, should say something. Yeah, I think it's just. I think it's literally script time. Do you know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. it just. The words hit me in a way that I didn't want them to hit me, but I like all the action. Oh. Uh, and so I think uh, having a sentence in between mm-hmm. that actually bloats and makes it less efficient uh, would help. Mm-hmm. So after Kyle and Lee pa- uh, Marlene pause for, uh, in shock for a moment as a gunshot rings out, uh, it's like they should share another look, I think is the best way, Like, because what else are they going to do? Uh, Kyle yeah. could bang his hand again. Yeah. They could sit. They could uh, talk. None of these things sound right to me. It's him. funny as soon as you make it public on YouTube. And no offense, we, I appreciate feedback. I really do. But uh, there's a, such a high percentage now of people on the comment thread just like literally quoting what they think we should write. We're not going to mm-hmm. listen to you. <laughs> FYI. I mean, maybe. I, I guess. Yeah, no, no, no. But, like, I'm going to read them. You can write your own screenplay. That's fine. This is us writing yeah. our screenplay. <laughs> um, all right. Boom. Yeah. Watch that view. I think, I think it's more I'm not going to justify. I'm not going to explain why I, we think it's the best. Exactly. Idea. That's what I'm not going to do. It would take but, too much time. Yeah. But Which, and I'm not. Comments because. These, these people huh? are probably better writers than us and will write their own screenplay and. Win Oscars, but this is our stupid thing. Um, yeah. Okay, so what sentence do you think should go in there? I think banging the hand has been played out at this point. The what? Banging his hand. Yeah, I agree, and I think there shouldn't be any talking. I think all that's left is they share a look that says something, and we do something. We do it the atypical screen uh, across the page action. I know it's... What about... Um, like, if there's some way we can weasel out our way to say, like, uh, they look at each other with a, like, stare at each other with a look that says, you know. I was thinking, what about the opposite? What, what about, like, they can't meet each other's gaze? Like, they can't make eye contact? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that also gaze. works. Yeah, it's both also work in context. I'd say do that, yeah. Just for a beat, and then Marlene begins to work with even more urgency, and then... What do you think of what's coming up on the stream in a couple seconds due to lag? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Continue. All right. Uh, 89. Tunnel. Simultaneous. Hector looks down at his feet. Tobias's blood slowly seeps towards toward his, in, toward into... Uh, Tobias's blood slowly seeps into his view. He shuffles back a step when the puddle almost gets to, on his shoes. Ops manager whispering, Hector, what just happened? In the Bannerman just... Hello? I lost you. Yeah. Oh, you lost me? Yeah. When did you lose me? Hector. If you don't mind jumping yeah. back. Uh, Hector shakily raises or heck the line? Whatever. People can read it on the screen. <laughs> Hector shakily raises the walkie and thumbs it on. Hector. Mr. Anaman, he just shot the man. Please do what he says, please. Ops manager slowly raises his hand and points to Sandra. Tears run down her face. Ops manager. Who am I pointing at now, Hector? Excuse me. Bless you. That's my pitch right there. Uh, uh, Hector d- 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 sneezes, infecting. Oh, I'm pointing at now, Hector. Hector refuses to speak, shaking his head. Dell, still holding Sandra, looks down at his feet. 
He starts to shuffle back into the crowd. He loosens his grip on her, cowed by the invis invisible er energy between Ops and that point. Yeah. I massage that, you can tell. <laughs> yeah, Ops manager. Who's this? Who's this lady? Hector shakes his head again. Ops manager. Name her, Hector. Name her. Hector, it's Mama. That's Mama. You said I did what you said. Without looking, Ops Manager fires effortlessly into the crowd. The bullet hits Sandra in the neck and she falls to the ground. This time, several in the crowd actually rush FEMA guards or take swings at those nearby. But after a few moments of chaos, the guards have their rifles up and are, knocked down, and are knocking down the offenders. Ops Manager removes the walkie from Hector's shaking hands. Ops Manager directly to Kyle. Come to the player tunnels now. Every bullet I hear out there between now and when you arrive gets answered by a bullet in here. The boy's up next. He turns the walkie off with the snap. Okay, so my notes, because we threw the script back and forth, my notes are just, I already did it, but you tell me if you hate it. Um, uh, I, cha I added, so if you click over to the stream... I yeah. added, uh, this, cowed by the invisible energy between ops and that point. Does that bother you? I just, uh, it's not clear to me what it means. Okay. What about he loosens his grip on her and slinks off? Yeah, let me just think what, if there's even a better thing. I don't know. Um, Retreats into the crowd. Back. Yeah, he he retreats in. Uh, retreats is fine. He loses his grip on yeah, him. What if he shuffles? Period. He shuffles between the shoulders of the. But we already said he starts to shuffle back in the crowd. Yeah, we said shuffles back, but I'm saying like maybe it's in. What about that just retreats? Yeah, retreats isn't. Because you can have a noble retreat. We want to point out that he's a coward. Well, slinks implies coward. But maybe That's people true. don't know that. That's true. That's That's true. true. I mean, slinks does connote coward, but I don't know how many people know the word slinks. Yeah. And also, when is slinks? When is slinks? Yeah, when do we say slinks? Oh, I was saying he could say he loosens his grip on her and slinks off. Slinks back into the... Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, yeah That's I accurate, know. but I don't know if people know the word slinks. Hey, do you guys know the word slinks? Yeah, I think so, because, like, slinkies. Like, he's <laughs> loosening his grip on her and acting like a slinky. All right. He slinks I think off. slinks off works for okay. me. Okay. And then yeah. the other thing I added is... Um, the boy's next. The boy's up next. I just want to make that clear. Uh, I have to point out one of the chats has a, a just a funny line. Mm -hmm. Get some action in there. Tears sprint down her face. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny in context. Okay. I think the you tears should jujitsu one another down her face. Yeah. In an epic. Uh, it, there is a tiny yeah. tear explosion. All right. Anything else, or did I you said want to I added the boys up next, and I wanted to make sure you knew that I added that. Oh, I love okay. that. Yeah. Okay, cool. The boys up next. Okay. Yeah, that means he can't, yeah. which is what we wanted to do anyway. I, that's why I added it because you told. Yeah. yeah, we just scrapped. You know. The, I thought of that line, and I was like, you know what? At this point, I bet we could pull this off because there's one more battle, and it would mm -hmm. be a cool John Wickian battle if he can't shoot anybody and he has to take out like two guys. Mm -hmm. Um. And he can't let them shoot either. Um, I, I wrote 90. Do you want me to read it? Yeah, you write. Okay. You do it. 90. Interior main concession stand simultaneous. The PA crackles into silence. Marlene completes her inspection and Kyle doesn't look good. Eyes closed, head back. He absorbs the horror unfolding over the PA system and questions every decision he has made today. Bitter tears run freely. Kyle, no, 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 no. Marlene, we're gonna stop it. Kyle, he's gonna fucking kill Hector. Everyone's gonna fucking die. I'm the reason everyone's gonna fucking die. Marlene, you're the reason everyone will fight. Kyle looks at her, but seems far away. Kyle, 
Marl were delusional. He tries to rise, but his wounds won't let him. The pain is too overwhelming. He shouts and crumples again. Marlene, shh, Kyle. Not continued. Panic attack. I had a plan. I had a plan. There just, there wasn't enough time. Fuck, fuck. Marlene slaps him, then forces deep eye contact, holds his head facing hers. Marlene. Kyle, please, handle this. I know it's awful, but you have to handle this because I cannot handle you not being able to handle this. Kyle seems to come to attention a bit, returns her gaze. Kyle. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I just... I, I have to get in there before... You have to drag me or Marlene not continue. Rushing her speech. I know, I know. Fucking listen to me. I can't carry you. I have one vial of fentanyl, okay? Painkiller. You've got two bullets in you. Your right hand is never going to work the same again, and you might lose that leg. You've been pushing it too hard, but fuck me. I, you've killed like a dozen of these motherfuckers, so I'm not about to make the call for you. Do you want this? She holds up the vial of fentanyl in her prep typo. Marlene continued. Because if I give you this, it will help with the pain, and maybe with my help you'll be able to hobble where we need to go, but you're barely going to be able to stay awake, let alone shoot straight or do fucking karate. If I give you this, we're giving up. No more surprise attacks. You're just surrendering. And if he kills Hector anyway because he's a psychopath, that'll be his call. You won't be able to stop it. Fittingly, Kyle slouches under the part of the sign reading concession, while Marlene is under the part reading stand. She seems to want to see some fire from Kyle, some hope, but he doesn't have any more to spare. Kyle, I can't stop it anyway. Go ahead. Marlene hesitates only a moment. She's disappointed. Not in Kyle, but in this terrible place they found themselves. Out of options. Kyle continued. Hurry, go. Marlene. Okay, yeah. She injects the drug into Kyle's arm with practice grace. Marlene continued. You should feel it soon. Kyle. Then we go. Fast. Ignore my leg. I'm going to push it hard. Just help me get there before he shoots Hector. Please. Oh, God. Sandra. Marlene. We'll get there. Just... Tell me when it kicks in. Long beat as the two wait in terrible silence. Over the PA, ops manager continues to terrorize the crowd and taunt Hector. Kyle limply takes Marlene's hand and gives it a squeeze. Kyle, let's go. Uh, yeah, a few little mm -hmm. topical notes. Mm -hmm. Uh, first, while we're there, uh... What? I lost Have you ever have you ever seen a uh, morphine applied? Who me? Yeah. Nah. So, we'll get. I just one thing that I think the way you did it is fine because it's how movies do it, mm -hmm. but it's also kind of cool to do it the real way that it mm -hmm. doesn't, which is she injects the drug into Kyle's arm. You should feel it soon. There we go. Fast. Ignore my leg. He should. We should kind of start hinting at he, it's already happening because that's mm -hmm. the thing with like morphine and some of the more powerful uh, painkillers mm -hmm. is that if you use it straight into the bloodstream it's like instantaneous okay like or at least it was for my brother mm -hmm. like when he and he you know like he he was like all right she's applying the morphine drip and then he, he was just like okay so oh man this really hurt oh <laughs> it was like within like a like half sentence Mm -hmm. and so i don't know if you want to do that it could also be keep everything intact and i'd also be happy with he limply takes marlene's hand and gives it a squeeze and instead of let's go kyle just says oh it's kicking in it's kind of a funny because mm -hmm. that was the last line so i don't know what you think we could do it the real way which mm -hmm. is to have it in his line immediately after marlene says you should feel it soon or we could wait till the very end of the scene. Both are cool to me. I just what do you mean by have it in his line? Like, right like, in dialect? Uh, yeah, that's how we'd probably have to do it if we wanted to do, like, the real, real thing, is Kyle would start to become woozy in that line. Or mm -hmm. we could just speed up what normally movies do with painkillers, which is, you know, like, in, like, 30 seconds it's going to work and we cut it down to like six or eight seconds i would argue that it doesn't we, bias anything other than reality the reason i 
would argue we should stick with the movie magic of like his adrenaline is so high that it takes a while is because he's about to do no 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 in fact i could delete lots of the end of this scene but he's still gonna kill two more guys which so like i don't i know it can be kicking in but i don't know like you know i uh you were there I've been in the desert very, like, peeking on acid, but when the ranger showed up and was like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Are you all on acid? I pulled my shit together because it was a thing where, I, like, I had to to talk to the ranger, you know? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. I feel like Kyle has to complete his quest to save a child from getting his head blown <clears throat> off. He's going to keep his shit together <laughs> a little longer than your brother did. Right. Maybe. Yeah, and or I would buy it. Share- thought we were d i thought we were doubling down on like now it's the rolodex the fun and games of this next fight is like feels like drunken master where it's he's uh, pulling i it mean off. that's i didn't go all the way drunken master like, not where hilarious. he's like doing hilarious bits with props or anything no okay i don't but know I, I yeah I, I i scanned it i just thought that that's how we clean it up and go a little bit towards that direction mm-hmm. like he's kind of like they're like creeping up on him and he's like falling asleep those kinds of bits and then he sees in the reflection and it's just like he's very lucky uh he he pulled it off because he's just fighting off this you know um this yeah. fentanyl i mean personally um, i like him being well prepared rather than lucky because i feel like that's a superpower okay and i mean i could buy that just because like marlene could just sense that and um well it's that he's a goddamn last. superhuman so more like fentanyl too. I mean, let me also search because fentanyl is not of course identical but i'm sure it still probably kicks in and still in. yeah and you don't the thing with painkillers is you just you you have it in diluted stuff like they're like the most you're gonna get is like that little tiny vial or you get i mean yeah that's an IV bag, but it will be a drip like a tiny little vial that they used to give warriors or they used to give soldiers in uh, world yeah. war ii that you just stab the leg right at like the area and most of it like bleeds out yeah. but for a second the wound doesn't feel like it's bullshit also it's a hundred times more powerful than working fentanyl is yeah oh jesus so Fe- the peak of to- fentanyl i mean that's fine hold on but it's perfect the peak of the fentanyl effect is a hundred times more powerful in terms of pain killing than morphine is However, unlike morphine, pain, uh, fentanyl takes five to ten minutes to, to begin taking effect. Once it does oh. take effect, it will continue to work for two to four hours. So it's kind of perfect. Okay. Also, oh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't also know fentanyl specific. is, I specifically picked it because it's kind of antiquated. In fact, they're, AMA is trying to get it taken out of hospitals now. Um, but... If you were scavenging like a twelve-year-old med kid in a stadium, they might have fentanyl. Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah. Late, late um, swim. So you don't want to have any. So the let's go. Okay. Uh, I do have something above. Mm-hmm. I actually do like your uh, your atypical across the page in this, um, and I like pointing out the concession stand. Oh, I. Know I wouldn't want is. the director to miss it. Yeah. I don't think you need to. Uh, I think it's a little strange that in her speech, mm-hmm. she. I have one vial of fentanyl painkiller, and then a later explains, if I give you this, it'll help with the pain and maybe uh, help with you being able to hobble where you need to go. It's, I don't know. It's weird that she like says it and then comes back again. Mm-hmm. So I was just thinking, like, I have one. I can't cure you, but I have painkiller, okay? You got two bullets in you. And then uh, if I give you this, this is fentanyl. It will help you or something like that. Does that make sense? Like, once once he's kind of do you, asking the question, do you want this? Then she explains what it is. Uh, I don't know. It just it feels a little bit like we're explaining it twice. Yeah, I, that makes sense. Uh, see what I did in the stream and see if you're okay with that. Because uh, we also uh, already identified it as fentanyl. She doesn't have to tell us. Yeah, that's the other thing is I know it was kind of redundant. But, uh, you know, if you're saying... It's I just up to changed you. it to he, she calls it painkillers generically. And right. 
I, uh, yeah, he doesn't need to know that it's called he doesn't fentanyl. Need to know. He doesn't She's just explain like a yeah, as a nurse would. Yeah. Just gonna explain what it does as opposed mm-hmm. to what it is, and you know. Yeah. All right. Cool. I cool. think that's it. This was a longer line. I like the delusional line. You wrote that line. Uh, slapping him. Yeah. Of course I like what I <laughs> wrote. Uh, I do too, not always. Not always. All right. Cool. And then I'm, am I the next, yeah, I'm the next, or no, you're. You're 91 and 92. I am. Oh, 92 is where we reach new material that we haven't discussed. I think we haven't done the poker game thing, because I don't think that that's the best thing anymore. Um, but. You mind reading 91? I think 91 is when I was done. I think 90 is when I was done, so at this point. Oh, okay. No, you're right. 91 and 93 are me, and 92 has not been touched yet. That's yeah. why it's weird. 91. Because we stopped with the, let's go. Interior main concession stairwell day. FEMA 6 and 9, who, if you're just tuning in, are the two who are on the correct path to finding Marlene and Kyle. Approach the snack bar in stealth mode. They can hear Marlene and Kyle muttering from behind the counter. Is it too short? Do you need anything? <clears throat> no. I'm cool. Action movies. I think we should add our. We make our page count work for us with the the fight scenes and stuff. There's no need to add page mm-hmm. counts for these kind of scenes. All right, so 92 is you. Uh, is it? I can't even remember these. Definitely, anymore. I didn't. In I did not introduce the poker metaphor. I did pay it off later, inspired by this scene. But I mm-hmm. remember because of that that you introduce the poker metaphor so this has to be yeah around. i don't think i remember doing the river stuff and, or hey, I don't well the characters didn't just input themselves abraham <laughs> I, oh i know <laughs> yeah. I just, we got like a pixar situation going on with sure. our screen uh <laughs> all right football field end zone day the ops <coughs> sorry the ops manager looks at adelaide raleigh dell and others he takes a moment to look at the most vulnerable, most weak of the townsfolk. He grins. Ops manager into the walkie. Let's say you're in a poker game. Bit a little bit. Bit a little more. They're on the hook. You got them thinking they can beat you. Beat your pocket pair with a longer shot like a flush or a two pair. You're on the river flip and you look them in the eyes. He feigns choking up. Ops manager. It's just a beautiful moment. The spirit of the game. The hope. The fear. He feigns composing himself. This is a performance. Ops manager. You're in a card game, and you don't have cards. Oh. He assassinates Sarah. Okay. Still smoking. He looks at the barrel of the gun. Ops, ops manager. No need. He looks at Sarah's lifeless body. Blood seeping from her head. Just a story. All right. Wild pitch. <laughs> but yeah. you're probably thinking the I, same thing. This is from the old This regime. is an artifact, and should this whole scene should not exist anymore. Correct? I agree. I agree. <laughs> This was this is what we replaced with uh, the debt because yep. we decided we wanted Hector Hector to, to survive. Or I mean, we, yeah, we wanted Sandra to die. Yeah, and Sarah. yeah. So Sandra can't like she's already shot in the neck in the old scene. Okay, so ninety one should just continue. Um, and I wrote I that scene, so, so I, if we can go back to the top of ninety one, I'll just read that. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, you can just read. Yeah. So now it's all 91. You can just keep on yep. reading. He meant six and nine hefts. Okay. 91, interior main concession stand. Stairwell day. Wait, wait, wait. Is that a problem, though? Because the previous scene is also a main concession stand. No, it's in the, they've moved. Let's go. Uh-huh. I don't know sometimes we it's vague to, to me because, like, if you cut from let's say one end zone of a football field to the other end zone uh-huh. you're cutting a hundred yards away but it's still the one roof <laughs> is over you both locations so, you know so uh just keep the first line and adjust the second line at the top of 91 so it should say fema 69 approach the snack bar in stealth mode we've already seen kyle like kyle and marlene just left right and it's not simultaneous so they're walking in stealth mode, and then instead of the line 
behind the counter, mm -hmm. they can hear Marlene and Kyle muttering from behind a corner. And then no, the counter the is key to the fight scene, though. Oh, can he double back to the counter? Well, well it's, can I just oh. delete the middle sentence? Can it be FEMA 6 and 9 approach a snack bar in stealth mode? They have to yeah. sell rifles and sport tactical gear? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm also going to delete the Mercs take two more silent steps. It's just going to be Kyle suddenly rises from behind the counter, have a, leaning on Marlene. It's kind of weird that they said, let's go, and... They said, let's go? go, and then... a. Four seconds later, they stand. That makes sense. Uh, okay, yeah. can we can we just add a single across the page in uh -huh. uh, in uh, ninety? Mm -hmm. uh, where at the end? Where it says, uh, "Just tell me when it kicks in." Instead of long beat as the two wait in terrible silence, mm -hmm. uh, add some way where they they slink or they you know uh, they drop down from they drop down behind the counter. Like they already it. were, though. At the top of the scene, it they says, already Kyle I leans they... heavily against the popcorn machine or whatever. Yeah, did, did he shouts and crumples again, but she slaps him. But I mean, at I the very beginning this to of... be leaning. Because in order to slap... Slapping someone while they're sitting is weird. No, it's but not. While... Yeah, it is. No, because he's... I mean, he has to be... They have to be seated or she can't work on his leg and stitch up his arm and shit. That's why I thought she would be standing and he would be on the counter, which is how I had it before. Like, Oh, I changed it to they're hiding behind the counter because I just don't know why they would allow them. So is he lying in. down when she works on his leg? No, he's sitting with his back upright against the counter and his legs sitting out in front of him. And she's squatting yeah. in front of him working on his body. I feel like if you're working on a leg wound, the, they're either lying down or they're like on a doctor, uh, like a chair or some like something where your legs can dangle down or something like that. Working on it where you're actually putting blood pressure, by by like or you're putting pressure by sitting or standing on a leg is a bad thing to do when you're fixing up a leg, right? I guess, but also in a combat zone where you're hiding, you would never lie on a top of a counter in a big open space when you know people yeah you are might for you. sit so you can drop off quickly or you may lay down behind the counter yeah i'd rather have them lay down on the ground if you're by me okay then, then sit on the counter that. yeah he tries to rise but his wounds maybe that he shouts and crumples again laying down on the well at the top of 82 I mean, it'd be, it would be a lot earlier right so if you look at the stream bless you yeah, thank At the you. top of 82, I think it would just say Kyle is laying out on the counter with Marlene working on him. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Because the let's go shouldn't be like a line where they think it's they're walking away from the concession stand. Because that's what like the let's but go they are. is typically. So they're actually, they're let's go, and then they turn around and they're shot at? Or, I mean, not exactly, shot Exactly, and they're like, fuck, they caught up with us just now at this moment, yeah. So so they shouldn't, okay. So then maybe it should read simultaneous. That's what I mean, is it might just be one scene. Like, that might be a French scene change. Mm. But hold on. 82, Kyle's laying out on the counter as Marlene works on him. He squirms in vain. Okay, so that's all fine. And then I think that means we have to mention that he gets off the counter and comes down behind it. Mm. Um, we shouldn't really say stuff dead in their tracks because they're not walking anywhere. Is that acceptable on 86? Watch the stream. You'll see what I mean. Yeah. And now it's up. Yep. Yeah, 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 that works in my head. I don't need it to say they stop in their tracks. Okay. No. So, um, Kyle Marlene paused in shock for mode as the new computer speaks. Okay, now he's still on the counter at that point. Um, okay, so at the top of 90, I would say um, Kyle is seated now. Seated on the ground now. Back against the counter as Marlene completes her inspection period he doesn't look good mm -hmm. does that work for you yeah okay cool 
So that means is 90 just a fucking long scene? Like, because technically it could just say let's go. And you know what I mean? I could delete that across the page and it could be Kyle, so Kyle, Marlene helps, helps Kyle stand on the other right. side of the counter. They see FEMA 6 and 9. Like, we could play it that way where it's like, oh, in this moment we're with the pro tags. And then we're actually then, surprised when we go, oh, they're waiting on the other side of the counter. Fuck. I think that that's better because then it's more surprising and we cool. it's clear that they're in the same space. So we're not using a slug line on. Uh, I don't think we need to get rid of let's go, though. I think you just add like just then. Yeah. Um. um while he's doing that, there's a lot of good questions people are asking in the chat, just so we don't lose our rhythm. If you're cool with it, we will answer a lot of them at the end. Mm -hmm. We usually wrap at six. Yeah. So at yeah. 5.50, we'll read some... Yeah, at 5.50, we will oh, read the chat and, and answer questions. Like Thank 35, you. Yeah. 35 minutes, 30 minutes or so, so we have like five so, minutes... How's this? Long beat as the two wait in terrible silence <clears throat> over the PA. Ops manager continues to terrorize the crowd and taunt Hector. Kyle limply takes Marlene's hand and gives it a squeeze. Let's go. Leaning heavily on yeah. Marlene, Kyle rises to his feet. And then I think it should actually be a paragraph break. <clears throat> Across the countertop, they suddenly spot FEMA yeah. 6 and 9. The thugs heft assault rifles and sport full tactical gear. Uh, and then that should be the end of that across the page. Does that work for seeming it? Yeah, let me let it... Uh, Three. I think I caught everything. Let me just... Two. One. Stream is caught up. Delete. Okay, so yeah. Raises to his feet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. <laughs> hey, motherfucker. Oh, okay, I wrote this, so can I read it? That way you can focus yeah. more, and I'm excited to, like, sell the... Okay, performance cool. to you. All right. Across the countertop, they suddenly spot FEMA 6 and 9. The thugs have assault rifles and sport full tactical gear. FEMA 6. Hey! FEMA 9. Hey, motherfucker, we got you! FEMA 6. Got you, motherfucker! Don't fucking move! Kyle raises his hand. FEMA 6 continues. Careful, he's a ninja or something. Kyle, listen. FEMA 9. Shut the fuck up! Put your hands back down on the counter. After that, don't fucking move. He complies. FEMA 9 continued to Marlene. Who the fuck are you, the escapee? Kyle eases his weight off of Marlene and steps in front of her as he speaks. They slowly move to the end of the counter together. Kyle, I surrender, okay? We both do. Just don't fire, please. You heard what he said. Any more shots in FEMA 6? Hey, you just moved. We said don't fucking move, FEMA 9. You think we can't shoot through you to your fucking girlfriend? Kyle, we agree to the terms. Just take us back to your boss. It's over. You got us. You'll, you'll probably get a bigger cut. FEMA 6 rushes forward in a rage and puts the barrel of his rifle inches from Kyle's face. Kyle doesn't flinch. FEMA 6, you fucking surrender? You killed Russell. You think I fucking care about my cut? You think this is some Geneva Convention shit? FEMA 9. If you're going to shoot him, shoot him. Kyle kicks a crate of stadium-grade mayo toward FEMA 6's legs. <laughs> He's knocked off balance and falls forward. His jaw cracks on the countertop. As he goes down, Kyle wrenches the rifle from his hands and aims it at FEMA 9. FEMA 9 continues. Fuck! Don't shoot! You heard him! He'll kill someone! Kyle stomps once on FEMA 6's head to knock him out cold. Kyle. Marl? Marlene slowly approaches FEMA 6. Marlene. It's okay. Like Kyle said, we're not going to shoot. Just give me the gun and we'll all go back together. FEMA 6 laughs. Fuck you, you'll just shoot me. Kyle. No, we won't. We won't. Marlene is close now. FEMA 6. Hey, back up. Back the fuck up. I'm not going to shoot, just... Marlene suddenly produces a scalpel and jams it upward through the bottom of FEMA 6's jaw and up into his soft palate. He shrieks and drops his gun immediately, which she recovers. FEMA 6 rides and screams. Kyle drops his rifle limply and swoons. Marlene rushes to his side to keep him on his feet. Together, they slowly move toward the exit. Kyle, drugged up. Okay, now more, no more karate. Promise. 
Okay. Yeah, it's long. Let's go back. Or uh, oh, it's not that long because it's only the latter half of this scene. Uh um, Sorry, the stream is gonna get wacky for a second. Okay, there. We should start from FEMA six. Hey, FEMA nine. Thoughts? Oh yes. Uh yeah. So, uh, you're reading it of it sold it i was laughing uh and i want to make sure that uh one of your bits is the number of times they say the word fuck in right. different versions and i think that right now it still kind of still kind of feels like uh someone who's just like excited to say the word fuck mm -hmm. uh e even though it's clearly condensed into these two characters i'd almost make it a more advert game at one point kind of like not like the wire where it's like every word of that scene is fuck but like like almost like it's got to be a joke because it's so so and you don't think the first word. three are clear enough hey hey motherfucker we got you we got you yeah, motherfucker. Uh, i think that i think they'll definitely pick up that they gotta get comedic people to play these roles you know yeah. Um, I just think that it it drags on so long. Like, I think it, it started to ring like, God, there's so many fucks in this. Mm. Uh, around, we said don't fucking move and to your fucking girlfriend. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fucks are getting per I, I, I tired of it. Yeah. Does that I still think that there's ways that you avert the tiredness of it by refreshing it at these at these types of moments. Um, well, I deleted the ones you mentioned, and I do think that's an improvement. Right, but if you want the bit to be every line that they say has the word "fuck." No, I wasn't going for. I just nat I was just trying to make them natural after the first three lines. In okay. this situation, I would be saying "fuck" a lot. That's my life. But like, that's, yeah, I yeah. agree, it's overdone if it's not a bit. The only bit right. I intended to be a swear words bit is the first three lines and a repetition bit. Hey, right. hey, motherfucker, we got you. We got you, motherfucker. And that's, right. you know, boom, boom, boom. I love Steve After that, I'm going to lose yeah. a bunch of them. Oh, yeah. Fuck, don't shoot. You heard him. He'll kill someone. I like that one. It's okay. Like Hell said, we're not going to shoot. Fuck you. You'll just shoot me. No, we won't. Uh, back the fuck up. Maybe cut that one. Uh, yep, 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 where is that? Uh-huh, uh-huh. To kill someone. Fuck you, just shoot me. Back up. Yeah, back up. Because that's when he's even trying to be reasonable. And yeah, yeah, yeah. The exactly. surprise is like, no, 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 Marlene has now been fucked with too much and has no filter. <laughs> right, yeah. She just went ham on that, which I like. Because we didn't talk about that, but I like that a lot. Uh, um, I was just channeling the end of uh, Hot Fuzz. This hurts so much. <laughs> yeah. Um, That's what inspired it. I feel like there are two things. I feel like mm -hmm. we can start feeling the fentanyl now because his the other thing is his blood is, or his heart is pumping. So even though it right. says four to six minutes usually – it's probably much faster than that in this case, right? Because he's well, seeping that's why out he's, blood. That's why You're, he swoons at the end. I guess I was, I was treating it like because it's I an emergency situation. Out. Like I said, like you know, being on acid, having to talk to a cop. Yeah. I thought he was feeling it, but I thought he had the ability to like force himself to hold it together until the dudes are dispatched, and then he's like faints. And, you know, I think that I that's fine, for. and I like it at the end of the scene. I think. Uh, I w you want a bit where it's like hard add, for him to focus while he's trying to hold the gun? I would add a line, mm -hmm. or I would add a line in Kyle's line. So if you want to end on, okay, now no more karate promise, mm -hmm. that which is funny, I would like to see it happen uh, in dialogue. So I'm going to pitch, he says something like, uh, like maybe it says like he swallows and you can, we break out more that he physically changes and then add a line. So, whoa, did you just stab that guy in the face? Okay. Now I'm back. You're, you know, or something like that where it's, uh, he, 
we we see the internal workings of he's about to lose it and he gains it back. Does that make sense? Instead of it does, but I don't think it should be. Just is now drugged up. I don't think that should be a funny line. The line, particular line, if it's just like a comedy, I feel like. Oh, okay. Or like, I, what if I it's was just a tension from... raiser? Meaning, like, what if, what if we had across the page where it's like, as Marlene, uh, as Marlene is approaching, what if as Marlene is approaching FEMA six, Kyle starts to fall asleep and can't keep the gun held up, because that would increase the tension of like, obviously, if he faints, FEMA six will just shoot Marlene and then shoot Kyle a second later. Right, right. Or do you, or do you think it is? It should be a comedy beat. Ooh, what do you like? What do you think about this? So, uh, together they move slowly. FEMA six is now. Ha- or, I'm sorry. Uh, FEMA nine is now turned his jaw. Like tur- We have a line where because the other thing is at the bottom of the scene. I I lose FEMA nine. You know what I mean? Well, Kyle stomped on his head. So it, oh oh you lose. Wait what? Oh, it's mistyped. Hold on. Oh, it's mistyped? If you're going to shoot him, shoot him. Fuck, don't shoot. You hurt him. They'll kill someone. Yeah. So FEMA 9 is the one they're talking to throughout the whole end of the scene. FEMA 6 is already unconscious because he stomped on his head. According to what you read, FEMA 6 is dead now. No, neither of them die in this scene. No FEMA guys die in this scene. They both Oh. One gets knocked out and one gets stabbed horribly, but oh, it, it okay. wouldn't be so, fatal. All right, that's another. Then that's something I need to bring up. I totally just, if I hear scalpel through jaw, the bottom of jaw, I go, that guy's dead. But at the end of the scene, it says he continues to writhe and scream. How can he? I thought dead? that that was, uh, like a, uh, yeah, I thought he was. But dying. you've seen Hot Fuzz. It's the exact same wound from Hot Fuzz. I know. Hot Fuzz. That doesn't kill it, you. Because it doesn't go through your brain. It's just really, That's really painful. True. That's true. Uh, I think Hot Fuzz has a wackier tone. Oh, um, okay. Well, that is what I was going for, is the final shot of this scene, in my mind, is a high, wide, and stupid where they're slowly walking away, and mm. the one guy is going, oh, God, oh, it hurts, oh, fuck, and, like, trying to pull it out of his jaw, you know? Yeah, I would probably break that into a line. Instead of rises and screams, FEMA six should have like lines. But FEMA six is the one that gets stomped on and knocked out. Okay, that's correct. It's like when you so say FEMA six, I did screams, fuck up I though. FEMA nine hard. is the one who gets stabbed in the jaw. <clears throat> okay. So I fixed that. That's all fixed. Nice. Okay. Uh, okay. Sure. Um, I it could be a line. Yeah, because when I, I, I read uh, writhing and screaming, I think someone like r- on the ground rolling around from pain and bleeding out <laughs> based off this That injury. is what's happening to him. Okay. But, I mean, we would cut out. Like, he doesn't go through the full process of bleeding out. It would take several minutes, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would like for some oh, way I... to have him talking through it. Uh, and, like, it can be horrible. He can, like, be gargling blood or something like that as he's talking. But screams are weird to me. Sh- a shriek is fine because he can, you, we can get away with it. But if he's screaming and they're just allowing it to happen and they don't immediately, like, kill him or knock him out again, or, die, or like, knock him out in addition to having stabbed him, uh, the screaming might call attention to other guards in the vicinity or, uh, at the, you know, or po- very possibly... I'll let ops manager know that even though there's no bullets and that was the you know mm. agreement if they're screaming he's going to be like all right he's doing something and then turn on the walkie again and be like all right I, you're clearly doing something i'm going to shoot someone uh that's what i w- if i was kyle i would be scared of that so i want to keep it as silent as possible and marlene also because she's the one who actually did the stabbing. what do you think of that that makes sense you're just saying he can't scream right i just don't think he can scream uh i also added something watch look at the stream right now stops his head to knock him out cold wow <laughs> since you said you wanted to feel the fentanyl more 
Yeah, I thought... I, that's yeah. what I mean, is I think that will also raise tension, you know? If the actor is going, like, fuck, I gotta keep this going on this guy. But I'm what do you think... Asleep. Uh... Uh... It's okay. What is that a, re referring to for Marlene? It's okay is like call me a horse. That oh, right, because Kyle has a gun aimed at him. She's saying, it's okay, we're not going to shoot. You just heard what if Our she... main thing is we don't want any shots to go off, you know. Right, right. We uh, surrender. My pitch, Trying to calm my pitch down. is to take away it's okay and break out a new paragraph on the across the page where she literally, like, catches him in the eyes, lifts his gun to the right place that it should be aimed, and they, like, have a moment where they, like, nod. Or something like that. Because I like the idea that Marlene is literally supporting Kyle. Then I think? would shuffle it around this way. Give me a minute to implement that. So it'd be mm -hmm. Kyle Stomps, blah, blah, blah. Um, mm -hmm. His eyelids droop, and he struggles to keep the rifle aimed as the sentinel takes effect. Then he says, Marl, and he's not telling her, kill the guy, he's telling her, help me. I'm losing it. And then uh, that's, that's Marlene cool. uh, helps Kyle keep his weapon steady. Uh, makes sure he seems secure for the moment, comma, then slowly approaches FEMA 9. Yep, that's right. Okay. And then, instead of, it's okay, I think it should just be, look, like he said, yeah. in doesn't he, Kyle, like he said, we're not going to shoot. Just give me the gun and we'll all go back together mm -hmm. cool uh one last yep. bit of uh cleaning uh unless we adjust it and we just did it too fast that i couldn't keep track of it mm -hmm. according to mine and i can't actually remember it but i'm i'm bad with memory sometimes i uh russell is not dead i thought russell was the guy who no we had a huge Check your chart, because last time we went through this, and I distinctly remember a big moment of clarity for you where you went, oh, Russell's dead. Like, I remember you saying that. That's why I used him here. You were like, oh, that was my confusion. Russell's FEMA 1. He's dead. Or I'm misremembering. No, Russell is FEMA 1. Uh, Russell is FEMA 1. That is accurate. And he, got, and he gets knocked out. I'm doing just a, a, a fine on over thing. Uh, what the hell, Russell? I got it. Okay. Uh, uh, Russell. Okay, that's fine. Let's get to the good stuff. All right. And that's where... Uh, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. FEMA 1 lurches to the side. It's in scene, uh, you know. Oh, it's because we go back and forth and call him. FEMA 1 lurches scene? to the side to try and get a shooting angle at Kyle. Kyle raises the gallon of water to the nose of the pistol and fires four quick shots, two each into the abdomens of Russell and FEMA 3, which kills them both. That's what we adjusted. That's what we adjusted. Yeah. Uh, is we just changed who gets it's shot. It's scene 20. Mm -hmm. If you want to confirm, but I am correct. <laughs> yeah. So I think that works still. Plus, and he's the he only named FEMA thug. Mm -hmm. So if you're going to imply one right. of the FEMA thugs is upset about one of the other ones because they were friends, you got to yeah. use Russell. Uh, something that we should make sure that we have clear now is when we say FEMA 1, like, 
Sometimes we call him Russell. Sometimes we call him Mullen. Right, but and it's I, very systematic because he goes every hey, time he talks or is referenced. It's Fema One. It, it's and every time he's talked about in dialogue, it's, it's Russell. Russell. And there's a very clear point where it says Manny addresses Fema One, and the line is right. Manny. Hey, hey, Russell. That's yeah. That's, I think it's, I think I think it's clear. I think that's what was hanging me up is that I. I know that he is female one. I always knew he was female one, but I didn't realize that we changed that. Mm. And then I didn't update it on Russell. I think I updated it on female one. So it's just the old guard not being quick enough as the new guard. Do you okay. want, you were pitching though, and we still didn't come to it. Do you, you want FEMA nine to say a line here, right? Sorry, you broke up. You want FEMA nine to say a line here, right? Though we still haven't decided on the line. Uh, do, 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 do. And it shouldn't be God. This hurts so much because then it would be a direct rebuff. Right, <laughs> right, right. I think it should be. It's like, oh fuck, you got. It could be nonsense. Like, you gotta help I mean, me, please help. Honestly, yeah, it could be nonsense. You could like kind of in the same way that when you read redacted stuff. Oh, I see. Like, like, like it could be like, like erg <laughs> or something like that like, or what? Like, like it, you think of the line like. I can't believe you fucking did that or something like that. And then you say like, can't, uh, li leave that, you know, or something like that. You know, it's like, um, I don't know, maybe not redacted is the right word when it's like, uh, when it's transcripts of like broken up, like, uh, footage from like an airplane or something like that. What about, what about this classic? Oh my, oh, just cause no, I think, no, they'll I got, or look at the stream. What about that? Uh, let me pop back over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just something that reads quickly that it's like, there's... <laughs> I didn't mean I dog, think I think. Uh, yeah. It fixes and say like, oh god, I think oh, that, oh my god, shit, I think oh fuck. Clear. Yeah, because I don't know why, just reading it, there was an, I had multiple interpretations in my head sure. of what was going on, and one of them which I was like, well, he's still doing stuff, but it was that he, he was about to die. Cool. And then last line, do you think we should delete promise or keep promise? Is, this, is it punchy or is it just one line? Okay, now no more karate. Yeah, it is punchier. Okay. Yeah, it is, I right. think I like Lose it better it. with that promise. Right. Promise doesn't make a meal out of, like, the actor can do something with it, but... Like, know what it is yet yeah that would be in like yeah add like improv some stuff there um all right but writer i like this one cool i'm gonna do okay. a quick page count check because we actually change chunks a lot i'm just curious yeah we're maybe one, around the same uh, 108 even okay and that's that's like up one and a third from last yeah um, stream is catching up, but 91 is next. I wrote 91, so I'll read it. But I'm going to give it a second for the stream to catch up. Is it really 91? Oh, right, because 90 and 91 became one long scene, so now 91 is... Okay. Uh, you ready for C91? Yes, I am. All right, the stream's going to scroll up and down like crazy, but just it'll settle down eventually. 91, interior, player locker rooms, later... FEMA thugs herd the crowd into the stadium locker rooms. It's warmer here, but space is much more limited, and people are restless. As a result, the thugs are edgy and more forceful, barking orders at kids, shoving people this way and that, and checking all the lockers for items to toss or confiscate. The operations manager has set up shop in one corner, cordoned off by some overturned lockers. Behind him is the hallway to a coach's office. A thug debriefs him. Is that a typo? No. Thug. Well, uh, there's my first note, but continuing. Thug, no one left on the field. Ops manager, then take back the blankets. No more of this it takes a village bullshit. Thugs start to strip folks of their thermal blankets. Just then, Kyle appears in the doorway. Kyle, I surrender. Again, yeah, shit will have to be changed because this doesn't comport with the reality of what yeah, we have set I up like, anymore. It's like, hey, guys. Uh, hey, I surrender. Yeah. Hands up, holding the sat phone in its yellow hard case. He points to the case. Phone call for you. Thugs train rifles on him right away, and the ops manager has to leap over his makeshift barricade and shout, ops manager, alive, alive, alive. 
thugs tackle Kyle, and he goes limp, allowing himself to be restrained and pulled away from the doorway. He holds out the sat phone, and the thug is about to take it when he spots Marlene just making her own way back into the group. So now that he's drugged up, obviously they have to come in together. together. She's sneaking and using the commotion as cover, but nevertheless, a nearby FEMA thug turns towards her and is about to spot her as well. Kyle swings the sat phone case and bashes this guy in the face. All this shit has to change. But continuing on. This is enough to distract the thug near Marlene and allow her to slip back into the crowd. All this can go now. But the thugs take it out on Kyle as they drag him through the... This part I like. The thugs drag Kyle through a parting sea of frightened civilians. They punch and kick him, slam their rifle butts into his back. From Kyle's POV, he's being borne down a hallway of people's faces, some weeping, some angry, some scared. At the end of the hallway, the operations manager grins and applauds. I think that's a cool shot. A thug hands ops manager his phone case. <clears throat> ops manager continued. God damn, well, you certainly made this an interesting night, Mr. Andaman. And I'm saying that about what was already going to be a hostage taking during a hurricane. But I think we can all be thankful it's over. Yes? Thugs drop Kyle onto the ground and he gets to his feet. Ops manager checks his watch. A few minutes late, I have to say. He gets close to Kyle and speaks in a low voice just for the two of them. Ops manager continues. You probably don't believe it, Kyle. But killing a child, <laughs> which he doesn't do anymore, so we got to change this. Killing a child is just as hard for me as it would be for you. Kyle, then don't kill children. <laughs> the operations manager jerks his head, which is a signal, and thugs grab Kyle and follow ops manager back into the coach's offices. About a dozen thugs hold down the perimeter, uneasy, completely outnumbered by the mass of regular folk who look more and more restless by the moment. Thug shouts, settle people, this will all be over soon. Thank you for your service, maybe. Joke bitch. Marlene oh, yeah. making her way through the crowd in a slow but determined way. Has finally reached her first goal, Dell the mayor. She makes meaningful eye contact with him. He looks back quizzically. Dell whispering, what is it? Anything. Uh, okay, so realities have to shift. Um, ba 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 ba. It's um. Starting it's at the top again. It's totally not consistent with where we've taken it now. To the point that I think it might need a rewrite. Oh really? Uh, yeah. I mean, I could give it a I could take a hack at it I mean I don't know uh, I can go into why I think I just think that there's lines that are now I'm unclear of what like how I'm supposed to read the scene I guess it actually may, well because if you recall in the original version of reality right. Marlene is coming to Dell to formulate the plan yeah yeah that stuff I still think can be intact I think um, the thing is actually that it makes me realize in retrospect and this is a minor thing but he does need to have the sat phone. And we didn't establish the sat phone in the concession stand scene. We should just I, go back. The last time we had it uh -huh. is he, uh, I have him when he meets Marlene uh -huh. in the concession stand. I wrote an across the page I remember very clearly where he, he's, he's trying to pull his pants up and stuff like that because he has a gun in one hand and he has the sat phone in his own, other hand. Then that should be fine. Like, we don't mention it for a long time in between. We don't mention it for a long time, but you can just... Any good art director would be like, yeah, he still has it because he had it yeah. before. It okay. might be worth, like, he... That's what I mean is it might be worth like, mentioning like, one more time in between. When he, like, when he's, he crumples leaning on the sat phone or something like that. Right. Like, it can just be one more for just, you know, just so people don't forget. Uh, when they're reading it and they're imagining a picture in their head, sometimes that happens. Um, nope. We must have changed it or something. We don't mention the sad phone in 80, but we should. So I'm going to fix that right when, now. When Just, Kyle, Kyle stumbles he, in, hand bandaged, leg belted, weaving badly as he walks. Using his gun hand, he holds his pants up as they slide down his waist every few steps. He approaches the counter. Oh, but yeah. It doesn't say. It should say the sad phone's in his change. other hand. Yeah. I think that could change. All right. Just add it right now, and then we can move Wait, on. Wait, where's the... Also, I could have sworn that we... Oh, there it is. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I don't know how that got lost, but I'm going to put it back. Um, the sat phone dangles from his other hand. 
he approaches the counter. Period. That's fixed. Okay. Okay. Um, but back to this one. You're you're saying something? Uh, I was saying oh, also in between. I think it's worth mentioning, like when he swoons because he, uh, his eyelids are drooping and he can't keep aim, and Marlene helps him. I think maybe right before that he should literally drop the phone on the ground. Like, fuck that, I just need to worry about the gun. It's all I can focus on, you know? Ooh, that's something... Just as an excuse to mention the prop again, because right, it's an important yeah. prop. The two things he needs in order to not get people killed are... And he's this like, guy. I can re-pick up the sat phone if this situation gets resolved. <laughs> the, only th the other thing that I felt I about <clears throat> uh, the scene, not to jump too far from... Because... Mm -hmm. uh, in Kyle's mind, like, he's basically surrendering, right? Yeah. Uh, no. He knows he has a plan, but he doesn't know if it'll work or not. Well, he knows the bomb is his last-ditch hope, but he doesn't know that it'll work, per se. Yeah, yeah, and we haven't revealed that to the audience yet. Because the last he said is, like, uh, I can't stop it anyway. Yeah, you're saying why should he? Why would he say help that? Me, if he help me, help me get plan? there before he shoots Hector. Like, from Marlene's standpoint, all all Kyle has given up. He's resigned to die, and Marlene's job now is just to help him literally get there in time before more bullets are fired. So then, when Marlene stabs the guy, and when they're like, and he's like, I think we should go back a little bit, and even before he starts getting loopy being like what the fuck fu okay i have a pitch based on right you 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 pointed out the need but i think i have the right fix tell me if you like this so at the end of 91 or 90 i think it should just go kyle drugged up okay now no more karate i do have a bomb though and then marlene replies you're just drugged up or you like you know what i mean he tries to explain his plan but it, he got drugged up and now she thinks he's just dragged out. Yeah, I, I actually I, like that. I like that. I like that uh, it doesn't solve things for me. Yet. Oh, okay. How so? I, it, I mean, it helps in a different way. I just think that, um, so I like that Marlene stabs someone. Because she's like, in her head, I guess she is hijacking his, uh, his authority slash... I mean, really. He's taking himself autonomy. basically out of the. He's taking, and, and yeah. she's like, she's well, stepping what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it so that there's an. I'm going to get you with a gun back in your hand and, like, we're going to figure this out. Like, she is helping him. Now and in the moment, though, take only, some of the. Well, I think she's also trying to accomplish the same objective he is, which is both of them right. want there to be no more audible gunshots. Right. Yeah. Like, I think that Marlene. Which I feel like the screenplay should re reflect at some point. Not now, because right now she needs to be action when like she stabs him with the scalpel. But like, mm -hmm. I don't believe that. Like, he's gonna kill a bunch of more people anyway. It doesn't matter. Like, so the best thing we still need to do is fight because he's just. Like, I just don't believe that he's not a socio a psychopath. Um, so she's fine with killing fools. So that I have no problem with. But I do think that even if Kyle is right before he's getting loopy, especially mm -hmm. before he's like that actual last line in between him, FEMA nine getting stabbed and uh, Kyle I saying no more mean. karate, he should be like, Marlene, fuck, what the fuck are you doing? Like, yeah, I don't think he should be what the fuck are you doing? He's killed dudes right. in equally brutal ways, but. But uh, now he's like, so my judge would be Kyle drugged up. Can't believe he did that. And then she should, like you said, explain herself. But doesn't Kyle think at this point, if I'm correct, uh, I believe he, he thinks that the best thing that they can do is not cause any more problems. And no, just I disagree it. with that. They both think, just have the very concrete, immediate objective. There are two guns in this room. Every bullet shot that the ops manager hears is another hostage dead. So they don't even need to confer. They're just two characters in the same situation with a shared objective that is mm -hmm. self-evident. 
if you I have agree. a gun, I have to disable you and take away your gun. So Marlene chooses a way to do that, uh, I would say, on her own authority. She just decides, I know a way to get this guy to not have fire the gun. I'm going to slowly walk up because he won't expect, he's expecting me to be negotiative. And then I'm going to stab him in the throat, you know? I, yeah, but I guess because FEMA 6 and 9 were so very clear at the top that, like, just do what we say. We're not here to shoot you. No, no, but that's, but they do say. He says, I'm going to shoot him. And he goes, if you're going to shoot him, just shoot him. That's why Kyle, in my mind, decide like, Kyle was just going to surrender. But then FEMA 6 says, but Russell was my best friend, so I'm going to shoot you. That's why Kyle goes, oh, then we have to disarm these guys. Right. Also, uh, e, e. I yeah, mean, I know. So maybe FEMA trying... 6 just has to say, I should, sh I should shoot you both right now? Yeah. But if that wasn't clear to you? That's not as clear to me. I should shoot you both right here. And then FEMA 9, just hurry up. If you're going to shoot him, shoot him. How about that? Right. Is that clear? Yeah, because then now I get fe why FEMA 9 is more... And more importantly, uh, why Kyle decides, oh, we do have to fight these guys. Because yeah. he was trying well, now, to surrender. Uh, yeah, yeah. Now, we're damned if we do, we're damned if we don't. Um, okay, so that, that does actually help I'm going to make it even clearer. Mm -hmm. FEMA 6 his finger tightens on the trigger How about that right i think that is good stuff just to let it uh resonate in the audience the reader's head specifically right and if you experience. were directing you probably would cut to a close-up of the right. finger tightening on the trigger and then kyle going shoot i gotta do something all right that that gives me a more of a understanding of uh kyle which is good because i i got the first part that you're saying from not mm -hmm. even talking about it, but the second one, I was like, well, why does he adjust? That beat change was unclear. His objective beat, changed. Now it's okay. just one clear beat, yeah. But I still uh, think you're right that there's room for a bit here that would be illuminating. Where, so I'm scrolling down, you'll see it. I think you're right that there should be another beat here. Kyle drops his rifle limply and swoons. Marlene rushes to his side to keep him on his feet. And then I think he should say, Kyle, drugged up. I can't believe you do that just now. And Marlene, yeah. like you said, should say something like, I've just, I mean, the subtext is like, I've just had it with these guys. I don't know. I'm going to do whatever I want from this point forward. Right. But what's the perfect line for that? Uh, he fucking deserved it. Uh, my Hippocratic Oath is, I'm going to have to shred my Hippocratic Oath. First, mm. do no harm. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't either. Uh, so I say, can you believe you did that? Um, yeah. yeah, it's pretty fucked up. Uh, let's just I go. Mean, I mean, it doesn't have to be a joke. She can go, let's just hurry. Anything like that. Uh, Marlene or is like, uh, someone has I to think she's like, look, yeah, look, I, look, I need to take over. <laughs> I think is a good one too because he's drugged up and I feel like that's what she's going to be sure. responding to is that like she knows she's seen what this happens. So it's like, okay, so you're going to be spotty for like the right. next few hours. Uh, and so I knew that that was going to happen. This is all the subtext. Um, yeah. So I took action because I knew that they were just going to kill us and you weren't going to do something because you're uh, you're going to go crazy in a second. Um, so I feel like she would just be like, uh, you're on drugs or you're on drugs. I have to take over. Can't now. believe you did that. Had to do something. You're about to be a million miles away. You're about to drop or you're about to trip all. That seems a little casual for the circumstances. It is a little casual, but it's true. I mean, that's a, but I don't, I just don't feel like a middle-aged nurse. Right. Yeah. 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 How's a million miles away? Is that too formal? I've, I've, uh, You're about to be long gone. Fun. Is that better? Does the job. Yeah. You're about to be. You're about to be fully incapacitated. 
You're about to be. Because that's kind of funny, but still technical. I think you're about to be in and out. I like incapacitated better than in and out. It seems uh, I'm in and out. A million miles oh, away, dude. Hello? Yep. In and out, uh, it's not a phrase I've ever heard in reference to this. Uh, oh, really? It makes me just think of the burger joint. Out of it, I've heard you, you're about to be totally out of it. Um, you're about yeah. to be. I mean, I've just heard out of it, so I, I, I haven't heard in and out to mean like consciousness. Just to mean sexual intercourse or burgers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What about Long Gone? Do you know like Long Gone? I like a million miles away best so far. Okay. A million is a million miles from here better or miles from here? What about you're about to be miles from here? Mm. You're about to be high as shit. I mean, to me, even that works, whereas better. trip trip balls trip doesn't balls because like Molly or something. Uh, like people just died. I don't know. I just wouldn't say trip balls in this context. You're about to be, but I might say you're about to be fucked up. You're about, you're about to be very high or very out of it. What about that? You're about to be extremely out of it or very out of it. You like either of those? You like million miles uh, away better still? Uh, no, I like very out of it. All right, you're about to be very out of it. I like that the best. How to yeah. do something? You're about to be very out of it. Together, they slowly move to the sat phone, recover it, and head toward the tunnels. Kyle, drugged up. Okay, now no more karate. I do have a bomb now. Marlene, mm -hmm. shh, you're just on drugs. Uh, I want to. We can go back to '94. First thing at the top. '94. Or sorry, '94 is what my version has because we've been consolidating the scene after, the lockers. '91. Uh, it's time to answer questions, and I don't think we'll. This is going to be a oh, long okay. talk, right? Just for me right now. Uh, yeah, thug, something you it, don't want to forget. Sure. Just I don't want to forget because it's so small. Edgy, mm -hmm. I've, I've heard they're not edgy. I've heard they're jumpy. Who? What? Where? The th As a result, the thugs are edgy. More forceful barking oh, orders at the kids. Oh, well, that's weird. I've, I've heard edgy very, very commonly. I've heard, I think of edgelords when I think of, uh, hear edgy. I, I mean, think of jumpy as like... Anytime anyone makes like a, a sudden move, they like freak out. That's fine, but they're synonyms. Edgy and jumpy. Oh, okay. They're used um, equally frequently, I think. Then everything's fine. All right, let's do, let's read chat or something. I don't know. Edgy. How many? Adjective. Tense, nervous, irritable, or jumpy. So oh, that's weird. Fine. Yeah. I totally think of like, he, that's so edgy. I hear like. Yeah, I'm either. This is fine by me. Jumpy's more specific, though, because it can't mean anything else. So I prefer jumpy. Right. Okay. Um, also, edgy can mean irritable, and the thugs aren't irritable. They're nervous. Um, yeah, let's answer questions. Because this uh, scene is going to need reality changes, if you know what I mean. And then my feeling is that 90 two to the end will need less reworking than we've been doing you still there right yeah yeah yeah. no i'm here i'm also so i'm just yeah, excited yeah. i actually think we'll probably finish the script next week if we do three streams so yeah. yeah but for now let's just wrap it up answering some questions what draft is this well we kind of outlined it and then we both took uh hacks at big sequences like 10 pages each mm -hmm. and we oscillate between the two of us uh in chronological order for the script and then we went and we sat down and we talked about each of the scenes after we'd written them and gave notes to each other and kind of cleaned up some stuff here and there but nothing like broad strokes, like, I don't even think we should have this here. I don't, you know, that was the kind of talk. And then we went and we kind of consolidated all that, that pass. So I wouldn't even say that that is, that's like a second draft. That's more like a first draft with like, like two or three conversations about each scene, basically. And then this would be like draft two or three. 
if you're using it like that. yeah draft 2.8 or something yeah something like that um and <clears throat> and draft one is like pretty loose kind of like real alpha <laughs> if it's a video game hopefully that answers your question mm -hmm. um, i'm scrolling but i don't see i see most of the comments that i enjoy Volkswagen parties, question mark? I don't know what that means or how to answer it. Zoe Kravitz is in a lot of stuff right now. I don't know what to say. Just the word rides in all capitals. A lot of good comments that I don't understand. Is this the end now? Are you reading this question? <laughs> I love coffee in a book. Hi, coffee in a book. Everything you say is funny out of context, and I'm not following what you're asking. <laughs> I also like... Uh, the sardonic uh, angry finger. I like what you're dropping. <laughs> Thinking about the one about a school of gambling. Cannot be bothered to Google now. Michael needs Max Landis enthusiasm to sell this. Max Landis is yeah, a rapist, Max Landis. sir. <laughs> uh, uh, my favorite thing about Max Landis when he's he's always talking like he's ahead of the joke. Max mm. Landis is always kind of like. Yeah, and then you said this, and then I was, like, saying, like, this, you know? Like, uh, that, and, like, I'm talking about something I know way better, and you don't know what you're talking about. And it's just like, oh, my God, you are so into yourself. Mm -hmm. Peter asks, what prevents FEMA 9 from shooting them when FEMA 6 goes down? Because they have explicit instructions to bring him back alive. It's actually what makes FEMA 9 break those instructions and want to kill them. And the implied answer we were trying to go for is he's clearly, in retrospect, some kind of close friend of Russell's. Uh, <laughs> what else? Phrasing. Russell is a memorable name. All right. Characters are referred to by their numbers. Just the thugs. I feel like being stabbed through the soft palate would fill your mouth with blood and prevent a cohesive death yeah. ramble. That's true. But we didn't really write it cohesively. But you're right, it should just be like gurgles. If it were a comic book, it would just say gurgles. On edge is what most people say they prefer on edge to edgy. So yeah, I've heard on maybe edge. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, edgy is technically totally usable and correct, but maybe people don't use right. it, and I'm a nerd. I believe that. No, I mean, <laughs> you, read, you read the definition. But it could be like an arc, like Pete, you're saying people don't really say that these days. And I'm I've like, just heard probably. jumpy when, you know, adjective. Yeah. I'm thinking shoot the... Okay. All right. That's all I got. <laughs> um. I don't really want to, like, rewrite separately from the stream. I think we should jump back in on 92 or whatever. And, and just keep and plowing through. just keep plowing through. I know yeah. there's a lot to change in it, but I'd still <clears throat> rather do it on the stream than separately. Right, right, right. Uh, no, Sandra's death was not really emphasized, and that's... Who's death? Specifically. Yeah, uh, Sandra. Yeah. yeah. Sandra or Sandra, however you say it. Um... Yeah, it was just kind of an afterthought, and we hear it on the other side of the phone call. Which and that's is... supported by how all the other deaths are handled up that way yeah. that you haven't seen. Yeah. Um, so okay. just general page check. We finished scene 90, so we're at the top of 91. So we are polished all the way from page 0 to page 90. And our full page count is 107 and a third. Not bad. So we're, yeah, so we'll probably have like 20 pages to polish left, which we can do in one or two more sessions easy. Maybe even yeah, one. Maybe. And then uh, since the public is listening, we'll have you know that also FYI, once, again, the, cut out, I think I cut once the script is finished being polished, we're going to get our acting buddies and we're going to do a stream where we will read the script in its entirety in character. Yeah, I thought that that could be a cool thing. Oh, yeah, we're definitely doing it. Yeah. So you'll get to hear the full story in a row. As Probably put a thing. camera up and find a way to make it with webcams. And I didn't promise it. that, but we'll see. 
We'll see. If we can get the technical things to happen, I think it can work that way. If you read the across the page, I can kind of, you know, run the technical stuff. Now. Uh, to make it work. Uh, and then just all, and when we would just do the casting beforehand, so. All right, dude. Cool. Until next time. Until next time, my man. Peace out. Bye. Shade. Close.